Music played an important part in almost every aspect of ancient Greek life. Whether attending a public gathering, rubbing elbows at a dinner party, laying out offerings in a temple, or marching into battle, there was a song for everything. Aristotle even wrote that music increased the efficiency of laborers, and it was often played for rowers and field pickers to keep them working at a steady rhythm. Musical contests, or agones, were originally only held during religious festivals. Over time, they became cultural events in their own right and attracted musicians and spectators from all over the Greek world. For example, the Athenian Panathenaea Festival featured competitions for instrument playing and poetry recitation. The Dionysia Festival included contests between groups of male singers to see who could best perform a dithyram, a merry hymn in honor of the god Dionysus. While these contests could be attended by all, women weren't allowed to compete in them. In the early days of the competitions, winners only received a crown and an ego boost for their talents. But from the Hellenistic period onward, the rewards were upgraded to cash prizes. These prizes were large enough for musicians to make a fortune especially if they moved from festival to festival. The Odeon of Pericles was built sometime between the 440s and 430s BCE. The building was commissioned by Pericles for use in the Panathenaea festival. The Odeon was also a venue for poetry readings, political rallies, and philosophical performances. According to ancient sources, the original design of the Odeon was inspired by the tent of the Persian king Xerxes, a spoil of war the Athenians salvaged after their decisive victory at Salamis in 480 BCE. The building's roof was made of timber from captured Persian ships. In this sense, the Odeon was both a triumphant symbol of Athens and an insult to their Persian enemies. This structure was considered one of the grandest architectural accomplishments of ancient Athens. In ancient Greece, there was a type of music for almost any occasion. Complicated songs like hymns, paeans, and dithyrams were meant for the ears of the gods, and as such were usually played during religious ceremonies and civic life. Meanwhile, a hymenaeus was a song performed at weddings, and a threnody accompanied funeral processions. For more merry occasions like symposia, scolia were the soundtrack of choice. However, Drama was considered the epitome of artistic expression, since it combined songs with poetry, dance, acting, and costumes. Plays were thought to be the connection between mortals and gods, and the songs that accompanied them, especially those from the tragedies of Euripides, often became huge hits in the rest of Greece.